Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Well, first of all, it's the evening. Usually I start my videos in the morning, but I think it's 7.30. Yeah, 7.30 right now. I decided to make cookies because I really wanted to bake today. And usually I save it for the last thing I do during the day because I want it to feel like a wind down before bed basically. But I got home from the park and I just decided to make them right now. So I made chocolate chip cookies. Kind of going off of what I was talking about last week when I, when I showed my updated apartment, I was talking about how I was waiting for my apartment to be perfect before I showed you. I'm trying to let go of that. I have a problem with that, I think. I never really considered that before, but I think I do. I love to bake, but I don't do it that often because I'm not very good at it. And I was like, well, maybe tomorrow I'll go get all the stuff I need and I'll bake like a perfect cake and then I'll be a baker. But then I got home and I was like, just bake some cookies. It's okay if they're not great, but you want to bake and it makes you happy. So just bake some cookies and you can bake a cake and it'll be bad. But, you know, I don't know if I'm making sense right now, but I'm trying to focus more so on doing than like what I expect the result to be. If that makes any sense at all. I don't know, I'm just rambling. I have not tried my cookie yet, but I actually, I did a pretty good job. <laughs> Which is funny because I was having struggles about making it perfect, but I baked them like perfectly. I've never baked them at such a perfect time. Wow, this is a good moment for me. I don't like them too chocolatey, so like I put a sparse amount of chocolate chips in. And I usually overbake them. But maybe I'm getting better. I'm trying. That was a good cookie. I have all these things that have sort of been you know, manifesting beneath the surface. They're finally coming up. I think for, for about four years, I feel like I've had things that sort of have been in the back of my mind and they're all sort of coming up right now. It was so weird. In my car the other day, I was driving and like for the past week, I've just been doing like a lot of reflecting and thinking and I literally felt like I aged and matured like 10 years within that week. Cause I just did so much like, self-reflecting, thinking, I didn't really journal. It was just like every day I, you know, I have a long drive to school and a long drive home. I think I was just considering everything and accepting everything that I really need to work on. And that's sort of why I'm in the area of maybe starting therapy again or whatever I may do, but just accepting help. I definitely think that's the most important part is like, you need to accept that you can lean on the people around you for support as you, go through whatever emotions you're going through. And I think I finally accepted, I was affected by the experience in my childhood, <laughs> the show I was on. I have never talked about that to a therapist or at all. Never, I, I used, this is laughable. I used to say that I didn't need to talk about it, that it didn't affect me. That's wild of me, that is not true. And so that's what I mean is like the past, I don't know, week or whatever, I just have like these things coming up and like acceptance is amazing because accepting that I need I, that I need to heal through that, that I'm not quite healed from that, but that I can heal from that was life changing for me. It felt like such like a burden on me and now I realize that I can work through it and that that doesn't have to define my identity anymore. I'm really getting deep with you all. Wow. Um, yeah, so I've just had so much come up in the past two weeks, but it's not been in a heavy way at all. It's just been in a very accepting way. Not exactly in a place where I'm like, I know exactly what's gonna happen and what I'm gonna do, but I'm definitely in a different place than I was like a month ago. Like it's just really weird how like things will be stagnant for like four years and nothing really changes. And, and then in the span of two weeks, I feel like I just, really figured a lot out <laughs> it's crazy so i might be starting therapy soon 
might not we'll see we'll see where life takes me <laughs> but if you are someone who thinks that you could benefit from therapy i actually have good news for you better help is the sponsor of this video so thank you to better help for sponsoring this video and they have such an incredible network of therapists who you can work with and two of my favorite things about BetterHelp is that you can do it on your own scheduling and you can change therapists free of charge so to get started you just have to answer a few questions about your needs and your preferences so that way BetterHelp can match you with the right therapist within their network then you can talk to your therapist however you feel comfortable whether that's video call regular call texting emailing however you want you can message your therapist at any time and you can schedule your live sessions when it's convenient for you like i said if your therapist isn't the right fit for you, you can switch therapists at any time for no charge. What I think is great about BetterHelp is you get the professionalism and the quality of an in-office therapist, but you can schedule your sessions when it's convenient for you. You can switch therapists at no additional charge to you, and it's all for an affordable price. If you use my code LUCASIA, you can get 10% off your first month at BetterHelp. So that's betterhelp.com slash LUCASIAC. 10% off your first month definitely check it out if you think that's something you need right now. I've also linked the information in the description box down below. Good morning, everyone. I am getting ready. I have class in like 10 minutes, less than that. So this is going to be very quick, quick little hairdo just to do something with my hair. I have both my classes today. So I have history from eight to 10 and then I have astronomy from four to 10. And I have an essay due on Thursday and I like did my schedule, my, my schedule math and realized that I also have another assignment I need to do, so I really need to try to do a lot of the essay today and even after class when I get home at 11 tonight. Yeah, I get home, the class is done at 10, and even though traffic shouldn't, like, isn't that bad at 10, and I technically should be home by 10.30, for our lab for science, we usually go to a lookout spot that's 20 minutes from campus, which means I'm than an hour away from home, not 30 minutes. Because without traffic, I can get home in like 45, 30 minutes. Um, when traffic's bad, it's obviously longer than that, but then when we go to the lookout point, it's even farther. So yeah, if we have lab tonight, which I assume we will because it's the clearest it's been in weeks, I will be getting home at 11 and then working on my essay. But it's okay because I'm done, at, I'm done on Friday next week which is actually crazy because even though it's starting to be really overwhelming and I have a lot to do and a lot that needs to be done it, this is like the first time I'm feeling like this and by next Friday semester will be over so that's crazy I've never done a summer class before I tried to take one last year it was a French class and um, doing a language in a uh, in like a sped up I don't even know what the word would be like doing a language not in the full semester like doing every like because usually for summer classes you know you eliminate some of the assignments to make it easier on students well that professor kept everything in the syllabus so everything that you would normally do within the semester in a normal semester you did in the summer so it was just like so much work so i ended up dropping out of that class because i was like i can't do this like learning a language is hard for me doing it in four weeks, having class for like five hours every day and then going home and doing homework and waking up and doing homework and just feeling overwhelmed because not only was it sped up, but I just really struggle with language. So I really got to hurry. Four minutes, can I do it? This is the hard part about Zoom. Well, actually, I think it's just a me getting ready thing. I was gonna say this is the hard part about Zoom is like because it's so convenient and I do it from my home every day, I feel like I'm always like, rushing around trying to do everything I can until the last minute whereas when I feel like I'm going on campus I'm like okay I have to leave by this time 
so I just have to be out the door. But that's not exactly true because I do the same thing before I leave for campus. I just run around trying to do everything I possibly can. Then I just wanted a really soft wave. So I'm gonna brush it out right away, I'm not gonna hairspray it. I'm gonna put a headband in because it's looking a little dead on top. Let's see. Should I do it this way? No, I don't love that. I need like a flat black headband. I don't exactly love how this has like a poof. That's better. I like that better than before. I have my big sweater on. It's in my dead plant in the back. No. Anyway, I just finished my morning class. It's time for me to work on this essay and then go to my night class. So I'm going to end the video here and I'll see you all next week.